Hello, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can use Automator on your Mac to change the wallpaper with just a press of a button. A few weeks ago, MKBHD released the full 8K versions of his Icons wallpaper. Originally, I had one on each desktop, like you can see here, I had red on one, black on the other. I realized the red was too bright at night and black was a little dark during the day, so I thought it'd be cool if I could switch them. Like, I, like when dark mode turned on, I could switch to the triple black wallpaper, but during the day I could have red code. Originally I looked into using script editor, but that turned out to have to click on the script to run every time I didn't want to have to go find a file to run. So I moved to Automator. I couldn't get the wallpapers to change automatically at sunset like the, the built-in wallpapers did, but I did get it pretty easily to just hitting a button on my touch bar or just an application on your dock. This would let me use the red code wallpaper during the day when I switched to light mode. And if I felt like going complete stealth black, I could have the triple black wallpaper with dark mode enabled. Since I generally have five desktops, I didn't want to have to be scrolling at night through desktops while I'm working and finding that bright red wallpaper. So first I'm gonna show you how to do this using an icon on your dock like you would launch any other application. And then at the end, I'll show you how you can use the touch bar on your MacBook to trigger the change instead of a dedicated icon on your desktop or on your dock. All right, so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Automator. And from here, we're gonna choose new document. And for the type of document, we're gonna choose application first. Later on with the touch bar, we'll use quick action. So now that we have a blank document, you're gonna to wanna to go to this left menu and click utilities. And then under utilities, you're gonna look for run Apple script. Once you've found run Apple script, you can just go ahead and drag it over to the main section of the page to build your workflow. So in this new box that has popped up with the Apple script, you'll be able to enter some code that lets you change the wallpaper while also switching light and dark mode. So I have the code here in a text file. I'll go ahead and upload this to my GitHub so you can download it and then copy and paste it into your own workflow. I'm just gonna copy the whole thing and paste it in here. So how this code works is that it's gonna tell system events and it's gonna tell the appearance preferences. If it is dark mode, then it's gonna set the dark mode to not dark mode, which is light mode. And then it's gonna tell system events to have the desktop change to the first picture, which is gonna be the light mode wallpaper, which in our case is red code. And then if it isn't in dark mode, it's in light mode. We're gonna set it to dark mode and then change the desktop wallpaper to the triple black or the dark mode wallpaper that you want. All right, so now that we have this done, we can just go ahead and hit play and it'll test it out for us. So you can see my desktop switch from dark mode with the triple black to light mode with the red coat. Now from here, we can go ahead and just save it. I'm gonna save it as icons and I'm gonna save this onto my desktop. Here we have this icon that has the, the automator icon on it. I want something a little more custom. I'll show you how to change that right now. All right, so I have the MKBHD logo pulled up since this is icons. I thought that'd be a good image for the application. What I'm gonna do here is go to the application we just created from automator, hit command I to get to this, the, the information panel. Go to your image, click on the image and hit command C. Now go back to the information panel, click on the icon at the top and hit command V. And this lets you change it to a custom icon for your application. You can do this with any folder or file or application you have on your computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. And here we have this icon on my desktop that lets us switch. I'll double click it, it runs a script. Now you can also just drag this over to your dock so you can have it there. All right, so what if I have a MacBook with a touch bar? How can I do this a little bit easier using a quick action? So you can go ahead and create a new document. And this time we're gonna choose a quick action. At the top, we'll choose workflow receives current and we're gonna choose no input since this doesn't require input from the user, it's just gonna run itself. Under image, you can change it to any of these default images that you want, but I'm gonna hit choose so I can pick my own. And from here, I can pick the logo that I had for the first one. The color is gonna be the background color of the, the button behind the logo. So I'm gonna leave this as black so it looks nice and clean. And then I'm gonna go over to utilities and drag on run Apple script. And I can copy this entire thing over again. Now you can save this quick action as whatever you wanna call it. I called mine icons. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to system preferences. You can see under extensions, and then touch bar that you'll have the icons here for all the quick actions that you've created. So you can just check them on and off. From here, you're also gonna to wanna to customize your control strip and then go down and expand your touch bar and make sure you drag quick actions onto your touch bar so you have that access on there. Now what I can do is go back to the keyboard settings and system preferences and for this press and hold function key, I'm gonna change it to expand control strip. You can also have it show quick actions, but I find expand control strip allows you to still do that one-handed hold function and click the quick action. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope it helped you find that Automator isn't that difficult to get into. It just seems intimidating with all of the different options. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more future projects. Also let me know in the comments if there's any other things you'd wanna learn how to do with Automator. Now that I know how to use it, I'm definitely gonna go into and dive a little bit more in depth with the different stuff that I can automate my laptop to do since it saves a ton of time. Thank you for watching.